So you guys know I love to create rope trays, but I thought I would give you a different option that's even less expensive than the nautical rope tray. So you want to buy a clear tray from Dollar Tree, and then you also want to get one of the mop heads that they sell at Dollar Tree. Next, you're going to take your mop head and you have to remove the black piece at the top. So the only thing that I found that would take this off, scissors weren't working for me. So I came back in with wire cutters to cut the top of that off. So once you cut that, you're gonna be left with about, I would say like 12 to 15 inch strips of white string. And that's what we're going to use to create our tray. So you're gonna start in the middle of your tray and add in hot glue. And you're going to put one strip down in the middle and you're gonna start wrapping it into a tight circle, adding hot glue as you go. Now, once you get to the end of that strip, you're just going to grab another strip and put hot glue down and glue it in place so that you're going to look like you have a continuous piece of string. So do that till you get about one third of the way done. Then you're going to take that and I'm gonna take it outside and spray it with two coats of a black spray paint. Let that completely dry before you move on to the next step. And then you're going to come back in and you're gonna finish up your tray, adding in the white that you were putting on previously. Now make sure that you do it as tight as possible so that you don't have any gaps. When you get to the end of the tray, you want to make sure that you go all the way up to the edge. You don't want to see any clear tray at the top. Even if you have to do an extra run, that's better than having like little uh, clear parts sticking out. Now for the handles, you wanna turn it to the back side and you're gonna take maybe four pieces together and then I'm just going to lightly twist those together, cut them off the length that I want for the handles and then I'll hot glue them down in place. Then I'll repeat this for the other side, making sure that I try to make them as even as possible. Now you don't have to measure it, just eyeball it and try to do the best you can to make them as even as possible. And here's a look at how my tray turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.